everyone, this is David Kim from Korea Now with the weekly K Buzz. In today's K Buzz, we begin with wrapping up the shocking news this week about BTS and their stance about future activities. After nine years of debut, BTS announced that they would reduce group activities and start a new chapter with more solo activities. In the YouTube video 2022 BTS Festa uploaded on the 14th, BTS said, Even if we stop for a while, relax and rest, we are moving forward for more time in the future. Leader RM said, Up until Dynamite, it felt like our team was on my hands. But after that, from Butter and Permission to Dance, I didn't know what kind of team we were. While many speculations are being made by the media and public as to the basis of BTS's decision, the members mainly stated personal growth as the background of the group activity suspension, explaining they had not looked back on it because they were engrossed in team activities. RM said, The K-pop idol system itself does not allow people to mature. You have to continuously shoot something and do something leaving us no time to grow. By thinking and spending time alone behind the scenes, I should mature and things need to come out as mine. But I couldn't mature because I had a physical schedule with BTS like this for 10 years. Suga also appealed the pain of creation saying, I didn't know what to say in the lyrics. From some point I was squeezing it forcibly. Now I really have nothing to say. I don't know what to say. However, the activities of BTS do not end here. BTS announced that they would officially carry out their solo music activities with mixtapes, non-regular albums in the future, and also that each member would do the activities they wish to do. The first member in line is expected to be J-Ho. J-Hope said, I think we need to talk about the change in BTS's keynote about individual albums. It's an important part because we're entering Chapter 2 of BTS. RM introduced, the content that was called a mixtape will now be converted into an official album, and J-Hope's content will be officially released first. We are very late in trying to develop something for each individual. Jin said, I wanted to be an actor. I've experienced more things as an idol, so I don't think I have many regrets about that. But life is something you don't know. ARMY and the public were initially confused by the rather sudden announcement and rumors began to circulate that BTS were disbanding or going into an indefinite hiatus. However, the agency stepped up to actively clarify the concerns. Big Hit Music emphasized in a press release on the 15th, BTS has revealed a plan to parallel team and individual activities. Here, parallel seems to mean that music activities such as BTS album releases will be suspended for the time being, but team activities like web content and commercial shooting will continue. In addition, Park ji CEO of HYBE sent a long email to the employees firmly denying the disbandment rumors. CEO Park said, BTS is not considering disbanding at all, and there is nothing in the related process as well. Individual activity plans for each member have already been established or is in the process of being established and will be announced soon. We really hope to see BTS soon in any form and activity. For the next news, we have a girl group that is recently seeing huge success globally and is ready for a full comeback, ESPA. ESPA is making a comeback targeting the US market. On the 15th, SM Entertainment released the scheduled poster for ESPA's second mini-album, Girls. Girls will be released on various music sites at 1pm on July 8th. The album contains a total of six songs, including the title song, Girls. Also, ESPA will pre-release the English single Life Too Short on the 24th. The song was also sung at the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival, the largest music festival in the US, in April. This is very exciting and I bet everybody can't wait to hear ESPA's new song and concept. Actually, there is a way to meet their new songs earlier than the official release date. On the 26th, ESPA Showcase Sync in LA will be held at the YouTube Theater for local fans. ESPA plans to perform a stage with songs from the new album and hit songs as well. In addition, as the originally scheduled performance on the 26th recorded a super fast sold out with the ticket opening, ESPA decided to do an additional performance on the 27th. Moreover, ESPA's overseas expansion is attracting even more attention due to the global partnership with Warner Records. In the midst of this, the number of views of ESPA's Savage music video exceeded 200 million views and achieved the group's third record, verifying the popularity of ESPA. So that was it for this week's K Buzz. Today's news was filled with shocking news about BTS's sudden announcement along with exciting news about ESPA's upcoming activities in the US. What are your thoughts on each of these news? Make sure to leave your comments below. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Korea Now for more updates.